really, really want to talk to you in an eye level, and I want to tell you a story if you want to hear it. Look at her. I was kidnapped. I'm an artist. I served the army 22 years ago. I served Givati, which is a unit that held the Gaza line. 22 years ago, during the war, Chomat Magen, if you heard about that. After a few years, I left the dream that I had to become Shabak or a soldier again, or this and that, and chose to become an artist. I have all the signs on me. I had an Arabic necklace on me. I had the Indian ganache tattoo on me. I had pharaoh on my fingers, because I'm half Egyptian and half Moroccan, but I'm Jewish. Okay, and I have the letter I got on my hand. You know why? Because I believe in coexisting. Did you know that the vast majority of the hostages believes in coexisting? So I'm an artist, and on October 7th, I went to fulfill my dream. I went to make my dream come true. I want to tell you that my best friend, she's Jewish, and she's married to an Arab person. She leaves the front door on my front door, she's my neighbor. I want you to know that my, my suppliers, my jewelry suppliers are Egyptian and Arabs. I want you to know that half of my friends believe in coexisting and we do have Arab friends between us. That's how I lived my entire life. I live in Beresheva, which is a coexisting city. Many people in Beresheva are Arabs. I don't know where you are talking about, and I invite you, seriously, I invite you to come to my country, and I promise you that I will hold your hand and walk you through it. And if you'll find anything with what you said in Israel, I will do anything you want. I will trust your agenda. When I was taken to Gaza, I was kidnapped I was caught three times. On the last time, I was caught by 13 Hamas terrorists. 13. I just want you to know the facts that you talked about, really. Right before the debate started, I wanted to ask you where you're from. Are you from here, from the US? Okay, I visited the US. I have the facts because I've been here. Have you visited Israel before? No. Have you visited Gaza before? Probably not. When he asked you what is a Palestinian and you couldn't answer it, then I'm asking you what is a Gaza, what is a Gaza civilian? Can you answer me? I will answer to you. When you're advocating for that, and I'm telling you, you're advocating for women to not have rights, because women do not have rights in the Arab society. You're talking about genocide? Well, I'm here to say, when October 7 happened, and that's a fact, they told me it in the inside. They didn't know about the Nova Festival music. They didn't know that we had 3,000 people in there. They planned, and they told me that, they planned to move on and kill as much as they could in Be'er Sheva, in Tel Aviv, in Haifa. They wanted to slaughter everybody. You know what? Maybe you will not believe me. I can present you my videos that I took there. Do you know how many bodies I saw? Sorry, I didn't see it, my friends. Do you know how many bodies were there? Do you know how much violence was taken on me? I was caught in the middle of a lynch. I was presented as a soldier because I chose to wear green army lookalike uniform that day by mistake. I was categorized as a soldier, and I was treated as a soldier. I'm 40 years old. Look at me, I'm 40 years old. I have a dog and a cat. I had two cats, I lost one. I have a mother and a father and a sister and a brother that left their entire lives to try to help me. My mother found out and if to be specific, my 12-year-old niece, I don't know if you have nephews, but my 12-year-old niece found out a video on TikTok. That's how my parents found out that I was kidnapped. Did you know that? Because I, I wish 
that we can have a private conversation, not with this whole audience, because it's terrifying me to hear people have that thoughts. And I really want to hear your side, I swear, really. That's me, that's my agenda of coexisting. But I'm asking you, do you deny that October 7 happened? Basic answer, ba basic question. No. No, okay. Do you support the action of October 7th? No, I know and I never have supported okay, okay. the killing of innocent civilians. What would, happen, what would happen if the army couldn't stop them and they would continue? Would you support that? We went to dance. We went to dance. We did an attack. Right, wait, you're asking me if I would support the continued killing of civilians no, on October 7th? No, I wouldn't. You if I would support the actions of people going to music festival, which is supporting freedom. I'm, I'm, don't be, don't get annoying. I'm really asking you as a person: Do you support those actions? No, I know, and I've already said I don't support the killing okay. of civilians. Okay, okay, okay. Did you ever saw our people attacking that amount of people? from the start, from our side? Yes. Yes? Have you seen it firsthand? You mean, okay, you keep on going. I, I, do you mean was I in Gaza when they were attacking during Operation Protective when Edge? And when I was entering Gaza, and I, I told you before, I have Arab suppliers, I have har Arab neighbors and Arab friends. When I was entering Gaza, and there is a video of that, I saw 100% of civilians celebrating me being taken. I didn't know about the other hostages. I thought it was only me. I didn't know about that. All I saw is 100% of civilians lynching me, beating me up. I was with a broken leg. I had bruises all over my body. Do you know that I've never cursed them? I've never argued with them, and I've never treated them like garbage. I respected them, even when they abused me. Because I believe that if I want to be respected, I have to respect everybody else. So I'm asking you one thing and one thing only, because I see you're not comfortable. I'm asking you to check facts on both sides. It makes life better. And I had the privilege to be on both sides. And I told you, I started from a place that I didn't watch the news for 11 years, just because of that. Talk to people, private conversation. That's the real facts. That's for me, don't clap.